Drenched in rich history, Barcelona in Spain was established back in the Middle Ages and founded as a Roman city. The beautiful Gothic architecture reflects creations by renowned architect Antoni Gaudi, the most famous of which is the Sagrada Familia, a cathedral or basilica that's still under construction after having started work in 1882. And something just as old is a car manufacturer from France called Citroen. They started work back in 1919 and since then they've come a long way. But they only started competing in the World Rally Championship since 1998. But then they've managed to bag 8 Constructors' Championship, 9 Drivers' Championship and 102 Rally wins. And today, 100 years later in 2019, we're at Rally de España, which is the penultimate rally in the WRC calendar, where Citroen is placed third in the Manufacturers' Championship. Rally de España was included in the WRC calendar in 1991. And since 2002, it is held in Salou, being the only rally in the year to boast of mixed tarmac and gravel stages. And that posed a bit of a challenge for the participating teams. Now, gravel is abrasive, it can be unpredictable. You require long travel suspension for the near violent bumps and deep ruts. And mind you, all of this is tackled at 185 kilometers an hour. And when you mix fast flowing tarmac into this equation, it creates a lot of problems for the team to work upon in a very short window. That work is performed like clockwork. Six mechanics are allowed to work on the car at a time, while others are allowed to supervise. All of this happens with barely a word or two exchanged, as each mechanic know their roles thoroughly. Keeping a keen eye on proceedings are two FIA officials ready to slap on a penalty at the slightest deviation from the rules. So tyre, suspension, bodywork, brakes, they all need to be changed and any repair work needs to be carried out within 1 hour and 15 minutes. Seems like a lot of time? Try timing yourself the next time you're changing a tyre. But what is a WRC car? Unlike Formula 1 or MotoGP which use prototypes, a WRC car is more relatable as your everyday hatchback. Except, underneath the skin is a whole different beast. So Citroen uses the C3 hatchback as its base car and then starts building it up to WRC specifications. So the bodywork is then modified and also reinforced with extra welds. The interior is then stripped out completely, only retaining the bare minimum and the bare essentials. An FIA spec roll cage is then put into place, yet the interior is also customized to the driver and the co-driver's specifications and dimensions. Fully adjustable suspension, a 75 litre fuel tank and a minimum weight of 1350 kilos with crew and spares is to be maintained as per regulation. But the biggest difference are in the wheels. 15 inch wheels are used for gravel and 18 inch wheels are used for the tarmac and the both shot with Michelin tyres. Apart from that, the brakes. Now bigger brakes are used front and back for the tarmac and smaller ones front and back again for gravel because of the low traction conditions. And that was a small glimpse into the workings of a top level WRC team. It is unfortunate that Citroen has decided to pull the plug on their WRC program 2020 onwards. The spectacle that a WRC car presents on a rally stage is something to be witnessed in person but Watching the mechanics, technicians and experts work in tandem to put together an engineering masterpiece on the rally stages, now that was an unparalleled insight. Citroen is already hard at work developing its first offering for India, the C5 Aircross SUV at its Chennai facility. And having had a taster of its technical prowess at WRC, we have no doubt that the future is bound to be bright for the French mark in India.